this is Algebra 1, Lesson 92. We're going to talk about uniform motion problems about equal distances, starting on page 383. Since Lesson 79, we have been using substitution to solve systems of four simultaneous equations involving four unknowns, such as the rate of f times the time of f equals the rate of e times the time of e. The time of f equals 16, the time of e equals 12. The rate of e equals the rate of f plus 15. Okay? Remember, rate times time equals distance. Rate times time equals distance. So whenever we see rate times time, that's actually the distance. So this is the distance of f, and this is the distance of e. So this is the distance f traveled. This is the distance e traveled. In this lesson, we're going to generate the equations from the uniform motion word problems. When we say uniform motion, we, need it, we mean an object that is moving at a steady speed without slowing down or speeding up or, more realistically, the average speed of the object over a specific time or distance. So when we say the uniform, when we say, um, yeah, so in the next one we're going to be talking about trains, and we don't mean that the trains never slow up down or speed up, we're talking about their average speed over the entire trip. When we're making equations from the word problems, we need at least as many equations as we have variables. We're going to be talking about equal distance problems, which means that two people's, people or vehicles are traveling the same path, but at different speeds, like in a race, or someone is traveling to town at one speed and then comes back home at a different speed. So here's an example. On Tuesday, the express train made a trip in 12 hours. On Wednesday, the freight train made the same trip in 16 hours. Find the rate of each train if the rate of the freight train was 15 miles an hour less than the express train. Okay? So we have two trains that covered the same distance but at different rates. Since the distance is the same, we can write that in terms of rate and time. So the rate of the freight train times the time of the freight train is going to equal the rate of the express train times the rate times the time of the express train. Um, the problem gave us the time. Here's the time of the express train is 12 hours. And the time of the freight train is 16 hours. I keep forgetting the equal sign. The rate of the freight train was 15 kilometers per hour less than the, than the rate of the express train. So we can say that the time of the express train equals the time of the freight train plus 16. Oops, sorry, 15. Okay? Oh, sorry, that's not time, it's rate. Oh. Sorry. Okay, so the rate of the express train equals the rate of the freight train plus 15. Okay? We could have also said the rate of the freight train equals the rate of the express train minus 15. Either one would have been correct. Okay, now we can plug these things into this top equation and solve for the rates because we want to know the rate of each train. So we can plug both of these um, amounts in and then we can plug RF plus 15 for RE and solve for RF. So we have the rate of the freight train times the time of the freight train, which is 16, equals the rate of the express, which is the rate of the freight plus 15, times the time of the express, which is 12. Okay? 
Now we can simplify. We have 16 times the rate of the freight train equals 12 times the rate of the freight train plus 12 times 15, which is 180. Okay, let's get all of the freight trains on the same side. And we have 4 times the rate of the freight train equals 180. Divide by 4. And the rate of the freight train equals 45. And this would be kilometers per hour. Okay? If the rate of the freight train is 45 miles an hour, then the rate of the express train is going to be 45 minus 15, right? We have the rate of the express equals the rate of freight. Oh, sorry, it's plus 15. Okay, so the rate of the express equals 45 plus 15. So the rate of the express is going to be 60 kilometers per hour. Okay? Let's try another one. The members of the girls club hiked to Lake Tenkiller at 2 miles per hour. Mr. Ali gave them a ride back home at 12 miles an hour. Find their hiking time if it was 5 hours longer than their riding time. How far was it to Lake Tenkiller? Okay, so they went to the lake and then they came back again. So their distances are the same. So we have uh, their distance hiking is going to be the same as their distance riding, correct? That means their rate hiking times their time hiking is going to equal their rate riding times their time riding. We know that their rate hiking is 2 miles an hour. And their rate riding was 12 miles an hour. And we know that their hiking time was 5 hours longer than their riding time. So, time hiking plus 5 equals time riding. Oops, sorry, nope, that's wrong. Time hiking equals time riding plus 5. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so now we can plug these in to here and solve for time writing. We have the rate hiking, which is 2, times the time hiking, which is time writing plus 5, equals their rate writing, which is 12, times their time writing. Okay? So we have 2 times the time writing plus 10 equals 12 times time writing. Okay, we can get all the time writing on the same side. And we get 10 equals 10 times time writing. Divide by 10. And the time writing is one hour. Okay, if they were only writing for one hour, that means their time Hiking equals time writing plus 5, which equals 6 hours. Okay, so that's their hiking time. The other question was, how far was it to Lake Tenkiller? So, that's asking the distance. We can um, find that out with both of the times and both of the rates and make sure that they balance. So, the time hiking was 6 hours and the rate hiking was 12, 2 hours, 2 miles per hour and that should equal their time riding which is 1 hour times their rate riding which is 12 and this is 12 equals 12 so the distance is 12 miles and that would be the answer Okay, here's another one. 
Durant drove to the Oasis in two hours. And Medill, Madel, I don't know, Madel, walked to the Oasis in 10 hours. How far is it to the Oasis if Durant drove 16 miles an hour faster than Madel drove? I mean, than Madel walked. <sighs> okay. They're both going from the same place to the Oasis, so their distances are the same. So we have the rate of Durant times the time of Durant, which is going to equal the rate of Maydill times the time of Maydill. Okay. Durant's time is two hours. Maydill's time is ten hours. And Durant's rate was 15 miles per hour faster than Maydell's rate. So the rate of Durant equals the rate of Maydell plus 16. Okay, now we can substitute into, the, into this top equation and solve for the rates. Once we solve for the rates, we can find the distance. So, we have the rate of Durant, and we're going to substitute the rate of Maydell plus 16 for the rate of Durant, times the time of Durant, which is 2, equals the rate of Maydell times the time of Maydell, which is 10. Now we can simplify. 2 times the rate of Maydell plus 32 equals 10 times the rate of Maydell. Let's get all of the rates of Maydell on one side. We have 32 equals 8 times the rate of Maydell. We're going to divide by 8 and the rate of Maydell is 4 and we are in miles per hour. Okay? So Maydell was walking at 4 miles per hour and the rate of Durant is 16 miles per hour faster than the rate of Maydell, so it's 20 miles an hour. Okay, now that we know the rates and we know the times, we can find the distance. We also know that they went the same distance, so their distances should be equal to each other. So that's a good check. So let's try that. So the rate of Durant is 20 times the time of Durant, which is 2, and that should equal the rate of Maydell, which is 4, times the time of Maydell, which is 10. So this is 40 equals 40. So this checks our answer, and it tells us that the distance to the oasis is 40 miles. Okay, and that is it for this lesson. Try your practice problems. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.